What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with NoOffSeason.com and today I'm going to show you how to find and avoid sports card scams on Etsy. Wait, what? Run that back. Did he just say Etsy? He buys sports cards on Etsy? Yes, that's right. I don't discriminate. Any place where you can find undervalued slabs, especially from PSA, I'm not above it. Paul Hickey here with NoOffSeason.com. I am the 40-year-old card collector. I actually recently wrote a book called What to Do After You Find Your Old Sports Card Collection, The Middle-Aged Dude's Guide to Selling Sports Cards. I'd love it if you check it out on Amazon. To do so, go to nooffseason.com slash book. All right, let's jump into what I want to show you guys today. I'm going to show you how to avoid sports card scams on Etsy. Now there is a big one going on out there and I'm not sure a lot of people know about it so I'm going to bring it to life to you today. I've seen this recently with a lot of Michael Jordan 1986 Fleer rookie cards and Kobe Bryant 1996 Topps rookie cards both in PSA 10. So this is an example of one that I think is a complete scam. It's going for uh, basically the equivalent of 875 US dollars. And that's about 15% of what it's going for on eBay right now, so it's an 85% discount. So the first thing I do is I go to psacard.com slash cert, and it allows me to type in this certification number right here that the seller on Etsy um, has on the card. So I type in the certification number just to make sure that it's not a bogus certification number. Sure enough, it verifies that it is a 1996 Topps Kobe Bryant rookie card, but the uh, sports market report price guide value is at $5,800. The last three sales of this card um, are, you know, the last one that the PSA shows in April of 2021 is over $5,000. Um, SportsCardInvestor.com pulls in the most recent and accurate sales data from eBay. And you can see here, this exact card is basically going for $6,000. It's a $6,000 card. And so what do I, what do, I do? Um, I mean, after my heart stops beating as fast as it did when I first kissed my wife, uh, I kind of calm down and I realize that every time one of these sellers is selling a card for this discount, they literally only have one or less other items available for sale. Like they, they, at most they have one other item for sale. In this seller's case, he, this is the only item he has for sale. And you can see over here, zero sales. He's got zero sales. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to message him and I'm going to say, hope you're doing well. I'm trying to be nice. Just curious as to why you've underpriced this Kobe Bryant PSA 10 rookie card by about 85%. You, you've priced it for 15% of what it's actually worth. You've underpriced this by, by about 85%. Why? Now, I've done this with several sellers, and it's very rare that I get a reply. This guy actually did reply to me, and he said it's because he has a lot of immediate bills that he has to pay. Um, I, I just, I don't believe it. I think it's a total scam. I have never bought one of these cards. I have seen that it's an issue, though, because um, Etsy will show you how many people have these items in their carts, and it will also show you if you add the item to your cart, um, when it's gone, it'll show you if it was removed or if it was purchased, and I've seen some people actually purchase these cards. Um, definitely comment below if you agree that this is a scam or if you think maybe the seller actually is legit. Comment below if you've actually bought one of these cards and received it. Um, I think what's happening here is that the seller is copying an image off of an eBay listing of a legitimate card so that the cert number will pass and that you'll see this as an investment, you'll buy it, and when you buy it, you actually get something completely different in the mail, and by then, the Etsy, the Etsy seller has got their money, closed their Etsy account, and they're gone. And the card that you're seeing here is another Kobe Bryant rookie on Etsy that's listed for about $4,000, and it's a Beckett 
eight, which is probably overpriced. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna get you're gonna get a little bit a little bit of everything on Etsy. Um, so hopefully this helps you, and uh, I would really really love it if you check out NoOffSeason.com. We are starting the competitive card collecting league. Go to competitive card collecting.com for more information and to join our league for free. We would love you to be a part of it. It starts in 2022. So we're going to take the rest of 2021 to figure out what the heck competitive card collecting is, but there's more on that at nooffseason.com. Thanks again for watching the 40 year old card collector. I'm Paul Hickey. Have a great day.